this video, I'm going to show you the glitchiest blitz in Madden 23. It comes to us out of the nickel 3-3 formation. I'm going to give you kind of an interesting little variation on this defense and one that I'm kind of tinkering with myself. Now, if you guys want to get my entire nickel 3-3 defensive ebook, make sure that you join my Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. It's going to get you access to literally all of my man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks including the nickel 33 so if you want to check that out the link is in the description so the play we're going over today is lb blitz one and i think this is the best blitz in the game because there's something special about this blitz compared to the nickel blitz zero for example i actually think this blitz is more consistent and i think it's better so what we're going to do with this play is very simple. We're just going to walk these guys off the line of scrimmage just like this. And that's literally it. The play is set up. I did not contain. I did not crash my line any way, shape, or form. I didn't do any of that. And what you're going to notice is this blitz is going to absolutely scream off of both edges at the quarterback. Now, this blitz is really good. And I want to show you something that's even, I think, even better about this blitz is you can actually run this blitz to one side so let's say i only wanted to send the, the right side here and on this left side we're going or uh, we're going to send the left side and on the right side we're going to actually drop a zone coverage over there on the right side right maybe we'll do something like that and what you're going to notice here is we're still going to get this nice little glitchy blitz concept off of the left edge the other thing that i wanted to talk briefly about is the the fact that the running back really actually i think struggles um, to pick this up. So what you'll see here is I'm going to only send the four-man version and sometimes, not every time, but sometimes the running back will suck so far to the middle of the field as he did right there that the pressure is going to collapse the pocket in kind of a unique way. Let me show you the replay of this defense. Again, we're only sending four people. They're blocking a running back and you see how this running back sucks to the middle of the field because of that contained concept. To me, this is one of the glitchiest blitzes in the entire game because it's it literally is so simple to set up. And I'm going to show you something else about this blitz that I wanted to just quickly go over. Let's say that we wanted to take the running back quick throw away. Maybe we wanted to have a you know middle third defender, or middle third third defender or mid read defender. You're going to notice that this blitz is going to come. I actually think more consistently when you send four. When you send four, I find this blitz to be at incre incredibly consistent. Now, let's get a little glitchy here just for fun. One of my favorite little things to do um, lately is to take this defensive nose tackle, and we're just going to take him, and we're going to man him up on the running back. And then I'm going to take that middle linebacker here, and we're just going to drop him into a hard flat. Uh, typically, I would want to put him in a hard flat to the side. You could even shift him in that direction. So what you're going to see is now we have a flat, and we're going to have the running back manned up, and you're going to see that this incredible double-edge pressure is getting even more consistent. So I actually think this is the best four-man blitz in the game. Literally, you can drop your defensive tackle in whatever you want. You can put him in a spy. You can man him up on the running back, whatever you want, and you're going to still going to get this pressure coming in at the quarterback super, super fast. Now, there's a lot that goes with this defense. What I like about this specific setup is how fast you can actually set this up. It literally can be set up in like two seconds, and then you're on the safety user and just like so, and the pressure is going to be absolutely unbearable for your opponent to block. Now, there are some nuances to this defense that we explain in our Patreon, how to make this a little bit better, how to make it a little bit more consistent, how to, like, for example, I'll show you something kind of interesting. If I was to audible here, you're going to see that if I audible to bench, sometimes it will mess this blitz up. And so you'll see it's no longer as effective as it was previously. So there's some workarounds that we show you in the Patreon that make sure that you are always living in a quote-unquote perfect world when it comes to sending pressure. Uh, but this blitz is super powerful. And like I said, you can easily just drop coverage off of this. And you know, even if they're going to block the running back, a lot of times you're still going to come completely free, even if you're only sending the four-man. One last little thing just for fun I want to show you is you can actually drop everybody on the right side. So I'm only going to send two people at the quarterback in this example. Um, and what you're going to notice is, by and large, it's going to come free every single time. It's one of the glitchiest blitzes in Madden, boys. If you want to learn the rest of the defense, make sure that you join the Patreon. $10 gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. We've already dropped two other editions of this defense, and we're revamping it for a third time for you guys this weekend. So make sure you're in the Patreon. That way you get access to all of that material. Thanks for watching. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description below and click the link down below.